Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 11 of Project Zomboid Tallahassee Apocalypse, which originally streamed live on Twitch. So before I start, I just want to recap. Uh, this is the third stream, and we have managed... Oh my goodness. We have managed to get very lucky, and by that I mean we have found uh, the Sledgehammer, and pretty much everything else that we need. We have a car, we have gasoline, we have uh, some bit of gas. We have a base here in the Kmart or whatever it's called. What is it literally called? Let me call it correctly. It is the food market and laundromat. Um, I have just finished organizing most of my stuff and the water is cut. There is still power. Uh, but I don't know for how much longer, uh, possibly a week, possibly tomorrow. I have no idea. And I last left off trying to grind my way to Carpentry 7 uh, so that I might be able to get the best possible rain barrels to help deal with my lack of water. So that's where we left off. And I'm going to be grinding out my uh, Carpentry skills some more. Uh, but I wanted to ask all of you, in in about probably 10 minutes' time, uh, what my priority should be. Uh, so you'll be polled about this. I already have a pre-written poll. But it's going to basically be continue focusing on carpentry for water, prepare for the po power loss, head to the fire station for better clothing, search for more books at the school, or actually secure the gas station, or at least clear it out so that I might be able to uh, loot it. And here is Tallahassee, fit as a fiddle and ready to go. All right. We did get the generator book, which was another uh, pretty crucial find. None of these generators are currently gassed up, um, but I will be working on the, uh, you know, trying to get my, my lovely carpentry up. I'm just one skill away, but before I even do that, I think I need to eat something. Uh, and the problem with eating something means I probably... Oh, no. I have this fish fillet that I could just heat back up. I forgot about that. The trout or whatever it was. So here's all my empty gas cans. Which, at some point, I probably should make a run over to the gas station to uh, get them filled up and then fill the generators up so I'm actually ready for when we lose power. Giraffe, thank you for the bits yet again. And West NCD, thank you for the follow. All right, next next task here. I need to get my carpentry expert. Uh, carpentry for experts, expert carpentry, that's it. And I'm gonna put the mechanics away because it is about to be time to read a whole lot of books. Bookworm my way into knowing a little bit more about carpentry. Or, rather, to level up a little faster. Uh, my current body weight is climbing, so... Actually, let me only eat half of that. Uh, ooh, I ate it all. Okay, oh well. I don't necessarily want to be uh, Fat Tallahassee, Fat Ash was funny, but Fat Tallahassee doesn't even make sense. Is there an actual difference between the low tier and the better versions? Uh, yes, capacity. Significant capacity improvements in the better ones. They hold more water, so... Um, but they cost the same amount of... Uh, they cost the same amount of... Uh, what's it called? Um, garbage bags. So, they're more efficient. Uh, with that, it actually has me wanting to ask you all a question, which is, should I settle for a tier, or what tier water barrel should I make? Because if you don't want me to make the top tier, I could start working on other tasks and just whip up some lower tier water barrels, knowing that I'll circle back to it sometime in the future. Can you take apart the veggie boxes downstairs? Uh, not all of them. 
no. Some of them aren't actually carpentry things. They're not like items that break down into planks of wood. Um, let's go ahead and smoke a cigarette. And I'll put a timer on that. Looks like all of you want the, the nice ones. I get it. If you're curious, this is uh, version 4155, which has been updated since the last time I played. Just got on, did the water turn off? Yes, the water is off. Uh, so one of the things that it adds is like the recipes for everything. So as you can see, I've read a significant amount of the, the magazines already. Um, Randall Thor, thank you for the bits. Okay, looks looks pretty straightforward. You all want me to continue grinding carpentry for the best barrels. I understand. All right, for the interest of your sanity, I will speed through reading this book. I don't really need a low-level barrel to keep myself watered because I have a water cooler that is full I have buckets outside that are full. I have uh, plenty of sources of water that sh really should not be much of a problem. I, I appreciate the concern, though. Um, let's go ahead and cook something. I'm gonna cook salmon with some, I don't know, lettuce. So another thing I could do while I, um, I'm cooking is try to process some water. So I'm going to defrost the lettuce, and then these I'm pouring into my water bottle. And then when any of these uh, become empty, so the rest of these three cooking pots, I'm going to switch the burner that they're on, or switch the stove that they're on, because every stove it just has one burner. I, it's just the way it is. Uh, Kakata, thanks for the resub. And uh, then the partial cooking pot here, I can fill up with rainwater. And Petrobol, thanks for the resub as well. Welcome, you two. Okay, so you guys do want me to make the better barrels. Got it. And then in just a few minutes, I will ask the other question, which is... Uh, would you want me to... Focus on that or something else. Oh, I don't even know if the lettuce can go in. That's okay. This is just going to be salmon only. can always solve my boredom other ways. Let's put the lettuce away. If I could look at the freezer. There we go. Alright. So what I was saying before is, yeah, I have, like, buckets and stuff. So I can pour the buckets into the cooking pot with water. Put the bucket back down while it's raining. Because we are due for a thunderstorm. That was something that was queued up according to the radio. And I should have plenty of, uh... Plenty of water this way. Obviously, it would have been ideal had I uh, made the rain barrels during a rainstorm, but, you know, whatever. Can't always win. And then this cooking pot with tainted water. And let me move these back. The cooking pot with tainted water can go on the stove while the salmon fries up and become, uh, you know, purified or whatever. Does the powder outage have some randomness? Yes. It does have some randomness. It, it, it can happen immediately. It can happen at three weeks. I think the limit is three weeks. 21 days is the maximum time. Uh, but it is random. So I don't know when it will... I'll lose power. But uh, it'll happen for sure. 
Okay, I'm just gonna peck at this uh, stir fry here. So I stave off the most hungry penalties. And let me go ahead and, um, do I use a mod pack? No, 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 no. <laughs> Vanilla's in the title. Uh, so yeah, no mods. Actually, technically I have one mod, but it doesn't really do anything, so I don't even need to mention it. I don't want to spoil what it is, but some of you already know. Uh, what was I going to do? Yes, the poll. What should my priority be? So, I'm going to actually add one more thing to it. And here's the poll, the big poll. All set of seven items fit on the screen, and you guys can vote on what my focus is. I'm gonna put the stir fry away for later and continue reading my lovely book. Cigarettes already, buddy? And you really are an addict. Fine, fine. Have it your way. Avilium, thank you for the follow and cheers. What season is it? In the top right, you will see the the time, the month, the date, all that jazz, the temperature. That's all up there. So it is July 30th. Early summer. All right, we're starting to get drowsy, so I'm going to... Eat another quarter of this stir-fry and head to sleep. At my sad little bed. Or actually, before I do that... Let me check out the radio. See what the radio says. The radio plays, of course, at the top of every hour. Seahawk Woody, thank you for the follow. All right. Broadcast system. The power grid system's compromised, I think, is what it just warned me. Looks to me like I'm going to lose power soon. If that is a correct report. Now, when I do lose power, the food that I have frozen isn't going to spoil immediately. But what it also means that all the frozen food in the city will spoil soon thereafter. Because uh, with no power comes no refrigeration. Alrighty. Turn that off. So yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like my power is going to be gone. Capset Gaming, thank you for the the subscription. Yoda looks mad. Nah, he just wants carrots. He's not mad. All right. Taking a look at my priority here. It looks like prepare to lose power is what I'm going to be doing. So let me update that. Prepare to lose power. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do is quickly... Uh-oh. Uh I already lost power. It's gone. I don't know why it's so light. But yeah, power's, power's done. Okay, well, uh, we're going to need to hook up one of these generators pronto. So, no power and no water now. Alright, so five empty gas cans go into the backpack. Once I have the empty gas cans in the backpack, another thing I'm going to need to do is to gas up one of the generators and bring it over to the gas station because I can't fill up gasoline at a gas station when there's no power for the, you know, pumps at the gas station. But uh, before I even do that, I don't want my food to spoil. Whoa, I'm in a shelf. 
So, uh, I am going to siphon a little bit of fuel off of my vehicle. Just to get the generators primed. So that we have some fuel. Let me make sure, let me see, does this... How much gasoline this thing has. Uh, it's nearly empty, but I can siphon the remainder. Yep. We're in a rush now. Was that a gunfire? Yeah, I think it was. Doesn't the van have a fuel tank? It does, it does. All right, add fuel to this generator. Connect it. And then uh, one of the big things I'm gonna have to manage to do is to disconnect everything I don't want connected to this generator, which might be a lot. So generator info. We've got six generic cooled shelves and two white industrial fridges and 13 lights. The lights I don't really care about. But, um, the generic cool things, I obviously don't want to spend gas to power up, because that's going to be really expensive, so I think it's these things here. Uh, these shelves are the generic cool shelves. So I'm going to start dismantling them to save myself more power. And then... Where's the other shelves? I'll have to take a look. So if you're wondering, does the generator attract zombies? Yeah, the noise does attract zombies, but it's not that loud. It's very, very quiet. Um, I'm actually going to turn this off. Uh, pick it up. Uh, why is it not? Oh, disconnect, yeah. I'm going to move it further away from the building so that it it might not catch other things in its radius. Which is a cheaper way to limit what it does. So I'm going to put it here. Because a, a generator only... Ge uh, it only powers things up within a certain radius of itself. So if I put it further from the core of the building, perhaps it just does... Let's see... Just the popsicle fridges and the white fri uh, the white industrial fridges. So I just need to move the white industrial fridges further away, and that's not that bad to do. So it's these here that I just need to. Uh, says it's too heavy. Time to ditch some weight. Burbs and Sleepy Flips, thank you for the sub and the resub and the follow. And Lord Rory, thanks for the follow as well. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit panicked. I'm trying to calm down. I was not expecting my power to turn off within five minutes of the stream. But that's just how it be sometime. So let's go ahead and put these uh, white fridges uh, f just physically far away from the generator. And then I'm sure I'll actually want a fridge later on. But uh, we just, we, I don't want to spend the gasoline for now on them. Oh, yeah, Ron. Ron, you did resub. Thank you, Do Village. It's weird to call you Do Village. See, like I said, I'm not very attentive. All right, so this here should be far enough away from the generator. Hopefully. Hopefully. And then we'll go do a gas run. So if you get the generator info, sometimes it will just tell you that it's still powering the fridge and just turn it off and on again. And there it is, popsicle fridge and lights. So 10 lights. Um, yeah. All right, let's take one of these generators because we're gonna need a generator at the gas station. And we will make our way to the gas station now. 
I might also want to flick off some lights, but lights don't, as you can see, 0.02 versus the 0.16. They don't uh, draw a lot of power compared to... Like, you know, refrigerators, freezers, things like that. Why'd I park so far away? No to self. Did those zombies just disappear before my eyes? Relatively sure they did. Alright, so we have a full gas can in here. So I don't need to grab... Um, I need to grab the empty gas cans, but I don't, need to, I don't need to siphon from the car or anything like that. So let's go grab the other gas cans. I, I could have run through here. Yeah. Okay, so five fuel cans. And... I might as well. Yeah, no, this should be fine. With the power off, is it also important to loot? Yeah, if I want, uh, if I want the things that are in people's freezers. But I can feed myself with trapping and with uh, farming um, pretty easily as well. So it really just depends on what people think my priority should be. So now let me update the focus. Here, uh, head to the gas station to get gas. Surprise, surprise. Composters apparently can't be hit by zombies, so they're ideal for walling them off. That sounds too cheesy to me as well. I don't, um, I mean, there's a lot of ways to, like, make yourself zombie-proof. Like, you could have a floating base, you know, Zomboid doesn't stop, doesn't have gravity calculations. You can also build a base on water. You can even walk on water and stand on water. So, like, of all of the exploits that Zomboid has, I'm very picky about not using them. Alright, this gas station um, doesn't look empty. It doesn't look swarming either. Unfortunately, I'm also very hungry. But I may have left some food in the gas station. Which would be a good way to uh, refuel the body. Alright, so the way to get gasoline from this gas station is I'm going to need to fuel up and hook up a generator. Because the pumps don't operate without electrical power. So it's like chicken and the egg. Can you farm inside? Yeah, you can. Ooh, a hard hat. Hard hats offer good protection. Oh, another one. It's going to be sad saying goodbye to the cowboy hat. But, makes sense. Um, get the watches. I'll take another hard hat, just in case I lose my first one. Almost got a nibble on? Nah, that wasn't that close. I've had closer. Give puppies a treat. Oh, right, I moved the bowl. Hey, Yoda. <laughs> now, I'm just clearing out the nearby surrounding area because I don't necessarily want them um, running to me. Ooh, 
when I'm refueling or any anytime else. I cleared this place out pretty good, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And hydrate. Maybe I put the cowboy hat back on. I can pull for that in a bit. For now, I'm just going to be focusing solely on uh, my survival. Let's eat some chips. So you know how I was saying I don't want to gain too much weight? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right, that's probably enough. Ooh, you have cigarettes. Don't mind if I do. You probably died. Coming to the gas station for cigarettes. And you know what? I am going to wear a metallic dress style watch because that seems fitting. Uh, it is not alarmed. Good. Okay. There is uh, some zombies that moved in. Oh, God. There's a bunch. There's like 15 over there and eight this way. And I'm in the middle of like some sort of tropical storm. It's like a rumble. Oh, bullets and a gun. Rumble in the jungle. You don't often see overalls. It's a pretty rare clothing item. But Tallahassee cutting through these zombies like it's not a big deal. I'm not going to be using guns for a while until I have ample ammo for him. Otherwise, it's just a loud way to commit suicide. But I'll collect it. Why are they roaming off? Get over here. Also, oh, no. I thought he was wearing camo, but he wasn't. I'm gonna miss. It doesn't happen that often. Okay. I'm trying to peel them away. If you're wondering, yeah, it would be hypothetically possible to just quickly hook up the generator and not have to clear these zombies. But there's a non zero chance that they hear the generator or me or something like that and get attracted, and then I have to fight them while trying to refuel or whatever. It's just not, it's also not really safe to um, refuel while there's zombies around because when you're refueling, uh, you have your back turned and you're vulnerable. So I like to murder everything around me, if at all possible. And this spike baseball bat is making super quick work of everyone. There's just one left. There's also one near the van. For, for pacifist, he sure knows how to swing a bat. Well, he was a pacifist in the last life. In this life, he's a slayer. Oh, there goes the baseball bat. Why you keep back up in the belt? All right, I don't really need. Um... Wow, this is really stormy. I don't really need more uh, leather coats, so I'm just breaking them down now.
I'm going to attempt to fix this bat a little bit so I'm not using my backup weapon. Now, there's diminishing returns on repairs, so there's only so many times I can do this, and it is essentially ruining this bat for life that I am not repairing it with, you know, using a good method, but whatever. It's not a permanent weapon. Hey, poetic artist! Thank you for the resub and surprise. Glad to see you here. Alright, taking a look around. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm clear. Or as clear as I'm gonna be. So, generator comes out. I'll stick the generator here. Connect it. How do you repair it using the good method? Uh, you would use better things to repair it with. So there's uh, a variety of uh, materials that you can repair. And, like, wood glue would be a lot better than just hammering some more nails into it, essentially. But I don't have any wood glue, and I wanted a weapon that I could use, so I just hammered more nails into the broken bat. Ooh, no, don't shout. Alright, let's Uh, add fuel. And then when we turn this on, the pump should be on. So if we get generator info, we can now take fuel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have gas. And I'll just keep taking fuel. Because I brought a bunch of jerry cans. Alright, well, that covers sort of the power problem. So, here is the remainder of the list. What do you think I should work on next? I am just filling these jerry cans until my back breaks. I like how my little uh, health indicator is like, you're hurt, you're hurt, you're hurt. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a mule. And then while I'm here, I might as well uh, take the popsicle fridge and then loot the gas station for everything it has left. So I'll do that before I head home. That's kind of a no-brainer. Maybe fill up my water bottles at the sinks in the gas station or in the apartment above. Oh, I dropped them on the ground? That I did. I thought I got them in the uh, trunk, but uh, Hot Ving, you are correct. They are just laying on the ground here. Was... Alright, so this generator here has 80% fuel, 100% condition. And it will be here the next time I need it. Is my van fuel full of fuel? Uh, I'll bring it around to top it up, but I think it's pretty full. Leave some snacks just in case I get hungry. What I should do is actually leave the snacks in my glove box. That's what I usually do is have emergency uh, lighter cigarettes and snacks and water in the in the glove box of the vehicle I drive. Yeah, this thing has a full tank. I'm not even going to need to top it up. All right, you guys think I should work at carpentry? You got it. Now, I'm not 
I'm gonna need another icy freezer anytime soon, but I'm just gonna grab it for later. Doesn't hurt. Unlike the refrigerators, uh, the icy freezers, A, they can never break when you're uh, breaking them down, and B, you can leave them in parts and not assemble them uh, to render them inert and not using up gasoline. So those little ICs are kind of nice in that way. I hear something growling at me. I don't need any of that. Mechanic for intermediates, I don't need. Uh, I'll take the wrench, though. Light bulb. Ooh. Good assortment of food. One thing that I didn't uh, leave on the on the pole that I probably should have was just loot for things that are going to spoil. Because obviously that's going to be an issue. I'm going to have uh, considerable stuff spoil on me in the vicinity. So, one more thing. I will add it. I know it's weird to be repolling, but bear with me. So, when I'm tabbed out, I don't get nibbled on, because that would be a dumb way to die. Um, okay, so what's been added is option number six. I'm not saying that you should vote on it. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just, it wasn't an option, and I, I think it has merit. <laughs> Everybody thinks it has merit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so so to explain to those that are not uh, maybe all that familiar with Zomboid. Oh, hi there. Oh, bye there. Uh, there is a window of opportunity where now that the power's out, uh, food that I can find out in the world has just a day or two of being fresh before it spoils in a refrigerator. Wow, they already broke that door. That was a metal door. Hey. They'll see me in a second. Soda covers water for a bit, but it also is very caloric. So it's not exactly a healthy uh, liquid to drink. Want to lose weight. Yeah, it's Wayne from Wayne's World. Nope, oh, bye bye, Wayne. Hey, a house key. One of them worked here. Okay, uh, uh, operation complete. Gasoline has been acquired. Let's get this party van home. The Venga bus. I can't say Venga bus without doing this, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. What about the side building? Uh, that's just a bathroom. I might have some rats and trash bags, but uh, I can do without spending time looting rats and trash bags. Probably the best way to park, whoa, is around back, I'd imagine. And then one thing I'm gonna wanna do is to refuel the other vehicle because there's the possibility of needing to get out of Dodge quickly. And currently, my priority is going to be scavenge for... Scavenge for food before it all spoils. So there's a limited amount of uh, certain foods that, like, 
once once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so like, you know, processed meats and things like that. You know, when, when once the power is out, you'll no longer really have the opportunity to eat steaks or chicken or anything like that. Fish you can fish for, and birds and rabbits and and the like you can um, you can trap for, but pork and beef and chicken, yeah, no. Once it's gone, it's gone. What are you doing, dude? Stop doing the shuffle here. Okay, you just want to shuffle. Cool. I'm gonna move this a little bit because he's being stupid. Can I raise livestock? No, that does not exist in the game. Nor will it ever, I'd imagine. It just doesn't... It doesn't really make sense in terms of Zomboid. But hey, I could be wrong. It'd be very challenging to do, I'd imagine. Wow, I am using all of my gasoline. That's okay. Alright, so the empty gas cans are going to go upstairs. I mean, the, uh, the full ones. And then the empties can get, uh, brought back to the gas station. And yeah, the, the generator at the gas station was turned off. I know my door's open. I'm aware. I'm sure some people are like, Your door's open! Yep. I know. I know, I just left it open. Uh, so this popsicle fridge part, I'm just gonna drop here. I don't really have a good spot for it. So this is my electrical. Trying to put things away roughly where they belong. I will get to a point where I don't, like, isolate my generator like this. But yeah, let me top this one up. Eventually, I want to cycle between the two generators so that one is on all the time. That way I can have a powered base while... Uh, Repairing or refueling. Uh, and this, honestly, that, that last gas can is, for all intents and purposes, empty. So, I'll bring that with me. So, we have two full jerry cans. That's pretty good. Now that I've been around so much gasoline, let's me smoke a cigarette. Roman Jersey. Thank you for the follow. So, these tall stacks are my... Non-perishables, where the orange soda, the pops, anything that won't spoil goes. I don't think cupcakes spoil, as odd as that sounds. Chocolate, chips. I don't know about butter and beef jerky. I'll, I'll, I think butter can spoil, but I don't know about beef jerky. I'm going to toss it in anyway. I'm pretty sure beef jerky won't, but let me just be cautious. The everlasting cupcakes, yeah, they're the hostess. You know how it is. What else do I have? Did I put anything in my backpack? Yes. The tailoring stuff. So tailoring stuff, I think, was on this. Here, I gotta remind myself, because it's been a little while. This was medical, and yeah, this was tailoring. We've got a gun with no rounds in it. Let's go over to the weapons. And this was also clothing. No, 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 no. This was clothing. Trying to stay organized. It's a challenge. I uh, didn't mean to move the antidepressants. You're on month two and butter hasn't spoiled? Yeah, I don't think it spoils, but like... Like I said, out of an abundance... A ridiculous abundance of caution, I'm just going to... Uh, to... Refer or freeze it, because it's not like I don't have a lack of freezer space. I have lots of freezer space. Alright, my character's getting pretty tired, so the scouring the neighborhood for food that's going to spoil is probably going to be for tomorrow.
I opened a box of nails. Where the heck did they go? Uh, did they open and are still in the... No? Are they on the ground? I'm stumped. I'm very stumped. I just put them in my inventory. I didn't actually open them. Okay. But they're not in my inventory. So that's not true. Are they in my backpack? Oh, God, they are. Okay. Open. There we go. <laughs> it's one of those days, huh? All right. So put them away. This gas can's basically empty. And... Everything's been put away. Fantastic. Okay, let me go ditch this uh, gas can. Plus, I left the door open downstairs, which is not exactly safe. It'd be a real tragedy to have uh, zombies swarm me. And I have the other half, the... Pops my bridge. Alrighty. Up. Up. Now, all the rest of the shelves down here have food that won't spoil, but there's plenty of food down there as well. Non perishables. Hey, Tusk. What's up, girl? All right, there we go. Um, what else? What else? That's about it. Let's cook and hit the sack. So we are gonna make steak. Now, trout. And I might as well top up my, uh, my water. Bye, Tusk. Now, the other question is, yeah, this stove may be too far from the generator. So I might have to finesse the generator distance. I'm... Almost certain that that is the case. All right, let me try to do that. I will put it here. If I need to move the white for refrigerators again, so be it. Meat salad. <laughs> that sounds gross. That sounds real gross. Yeah, I'm going to need to move it. Oh, well. Yeah, I should have just moved those white fridges to a far corner or something. The important bit is don't put them inside. Like, that's that's the only caveat. Like, you, you could... It doesn't really matter where you put it, just not inside. If puppy's a treat. Hey, puppy. Thank you for tuning in to Tallahassee Apocalypse, Project Zomboid, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 12th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.